Okay, guys, I am trying a new way of videoing, videoing, if that's such a word. Um, I'm using my Mac instead of holding my phone out like this, so hopefully it won't be as wobbly. So I actually started to make this video for a challenge group, and I decided that this video was actually better for the Bay page, and here's why. Many of you guys know that over the summer, I, um, I gained some weight back, and many of us did. Um, life is about balance, and I certainly enjoyed lots of Stefan's barbecuing and lots of rosé and lots of sunsets at the beach. It was really fun, sunsets at the beach with food and with wine. So I just noticed that my clothes were feeling a little bit tighter, and it's really no other driver to lose those six pounds that I gained other than I don't want to start off a fall season with Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas in a place that is not going to make me start off 2016 in a successful place. So it's the compound effect, right? I want to start off at my ideal weight, and that way if I gain a few pounds through the holiday season, which I probably will, it's okay. So what I did is I made a new workout routine for myself. I used... Um, my life is just at one where I, I really can't get to the gym. It's hard for me to get to spin classes. I, I can't really do much because I really never know what the schedule is going to be when I still have four kids in and out of the house, okay? So I used the Beach Body programs. I selected four of them, and I made up a schedule based on some goals. I plugged in that I wanted to uh, get lean. I plugged in that I wanted to build muscle. I plugged in that I wanted to work out six days a week. Out of those six days, two of them I wanted to be double days. Out of those uh, six days, I wanted three of them to have an ab focus for 10 minutes after the workout. So I literally could tailor what I wanted. So I did that two weeks, two and a half weeks ago, I started this workout routine. I mean, I'm fired up. I was excited. I'm setting my alarm. I've got something new. I don't look at what I'm doing the next day so that there's no mental games. I wake up, I look at the schedule, and I'm like, okay, I can do this. Because a lot of them are workouts that I don't necessarily love to do, but they get results. And if I know before I go to bed that's what I'm doing, it, it, it causes me agita. So it's just better that I wake up and figure out what I'm doing. Here's the point. Um... I started two and a half weeks ago. I went to the doctor last week. So I'd been doing this workout routine for two weeks. I took measurements. I took pictures. I do not own a scale, okay? I got on a scale, though, two weeks into it because I happened to go back to a doctor for a follow-up appointment. And when I got on the scale, I had gained another four pounds, okay? Here's why I don't want you guys listening to the scale. I have been doing this long enough to be like, eh, okay, couple reasons on why I knew that I'd gained weight. One, when you're working out in very, very hard routines, so even if you are maybe not in the best shape and you're starting the 21-day fix or you're starting T25, your muscles are swelling. And when your muscles swell, they hold on to water. And when you hold on to water, it impacts the number on the scale. Number two... I also knew that I was building muscle based on the workouts I was doing. So these workouts were actually building muscle that weighs more than fat. So the four pounds on the scale would have thrown me into a tizzy two years ago before I know what I know now. Here's the point, guys. I came home from that doctor's appointment, and I got my, I got my measure, measure, measuring tape back out, and I measured all of my measurements after, two, like, it was two weeks and three days, I've lost four inches. I've lost four inches, but I've gained four pounds. Point is, I don't want you guys using a scale. I want you taking pictures of yourself, and I want you taking measurements of yourself because the scale is not accurate. That's not to say don't ever jump on a scale and know what your baseline weight is. That's not what I'm saying at all. But for some of you guys, if you would have tried the intense workout program and you are doing your own intense workout programs and you hop on a scale and it gives you a number that you don't want, that will throw you into a place of discouragement. And that's not what we want. We want our minds focusing on that we're doing this to be healthy, that we're doing this to get our bodies in the right place, that we're doing this to look and feel our best and to be comfortable in our own skin. Okay, and if we're jumping on scales all the time, that is not going to put the focus on the right things. 
So luckily I don't really trust scales. I have to get on them when I go to the doctors. It gives me a baseline. But when I saw those extra four pounds, I laughed out loud and I knew because of how hard I've been working and I know because I trust the process that when I did my measurements, I would get good results. And sure enough, in two and a half weeks, I've lost four inches and I have another two weeks to go. So, um, I don't really care what the end result is. If it's six pounds that I, that, that I technically lost, I don't really care. I want to put my summer shorts back on in two weeks and just know that they feel and fit comfortably. So that is my note of encouragement for you guys today. Use measuring sticks, use the way your clothes feel, take before and after pictures. Don't listen to the scale. Okay guys, have a good one.